Creatives or School Magic Plays. And welcome to the Four Horsemen. All right, Peter, Parker, you guys are doing some Four Horsemen matches. Both, both of you got really interesting, cool decks. Thanks for letting me do the video, and take it away. Together, we are Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can cut out over. Like what? Playing first. Let's see. Motherfucker. Feels so serious now that it's recording. <laughs> Don't be serious. Tell jokes. Have fun. <laughs> Peter, t no get, Peter no tell music, us. Though, it has, no music. It ends up being too like it comes in and out and gets too loud. Yeah. What did the fish say when he swam into a wall? <laughs> Hammerhead. Damn. 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 <laughs> uh, all right. I'll keep. Put that one back. Okay, um, you're gonna you're, you're gonna keep. Yes. Okay, I'll I'll keep too. All right. Um, island waterworm. Oh, that's interesting. So, um, what is it? Uh, it gets plus O plus one if you control an island. And you do so. So one. No, two. if you control an island. Well, I control an island. That's sick. So then, so it becomes a one two. Yes, if you uh, control an island. So a vegan and a vegetarian are on top of a cliff, and they both jump off. Who wins? Society. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gonna, he just lost three vegan subscribers right there. Uh, it's like the a vegan, a crossfitter, and an atheist walk into a bar. You know, because they told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait! How do you know your uh, your date? You're on the day of a pilot. How do you know your date's halfway done? I don't know. He says, That's enough about me. Let me tell you about my plane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just don't want to do it, but I gotta pump that water worm, man. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you. All right. Uh, drop. Top ass water worm right there. Uh, attack it for one. Yeah, 19. Dan Dan. 4 1, and he's coming in, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Uh, Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Dan. Uh, pass with three. It's just two to pay for a 4 1 that can attack if it has, if you have islands. That's such a nuts card. Yeah. It's, it's worth it. And I didn't even need to play that out. Now I feel like the biggest, like, asshole to myself as well. Like, I didn't need to. It's like, I wasn't in a rush to... You played yourself. I did. I really didn't have to make that so painful. All right. Um, I'm going to play a factory to right. help, help my life a little bit and pass you. Uh, I'm Draw. Don't hurt me no more, please. Stop. Um... Unstable mutation on the Dan Dan? Holy Christ, I'm tempted to block at this point. No, but I can't, because it could actually do three damage to him. But he still survives. Yeah, he still survives. So he's a seven damager. Well, he has summoning sickness this turn. Yeah. Uh, okay. And unstable mutation on the water worm. Holy Christ. Uh, swing in for seven, 11. That's a problem. Yeah, I go to eight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, like, wow. That's a real problem there. That's incredible, dude. And Parker, uh, did you mulligan your hand and draw into this uh, god hand? Yes. Wow. Well, and I, 
object uh, that last unstable. But oh, yeah, this, is a god, this is a god hand. Yeah, this is essentially a god hand right here. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, pass turn to an hand. I don't even know what to say about that there. Um... I mean, I have a, only one play to make, and it's pretty fucking drastic. Um, Float three mana burn? Well, yeah, you better do something drastic here, Peter. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, I do. I do have to do something drastic. Um, fuck six. Yeah, that's... Wow, I, mean, I, that's, I, mean, that's I don't think I've ever so seen anybody you're gonna make love this You're going to love this play. I'm going to animate, and I'm going to attack. Two. Hell yeah. All right. 18. And I'm going to strip my volcanic. Wow. Okay. So Dan Dan can't attack anymore. And oh, one wow. goes down. Yeah, exactly. All right. Wow. What a move. There you go. What a move. What a move. I know. But the water worm's still busting. Busting my ass, basically. You mean the Dan, the Dan, the water worm's not too bad. The Dan Dan is the killer. Uh, I assume you're done, right? I'm, that's it, I'm top. I'm top. Okay, yeah. He's done right. and done for. <laughs> he was trying to hang in for your life. Uh, that's incredible. Um, I have no qualms with that play. That was totally fair and legit, and that was awesome. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, attack for three? Uh, yeah, you bet you got it, man. I'm going to take three. I'm going to go five. And I'll uh, pass turn three in hand. Okay, I'm going to draw. Um, play an island. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just please. <laughs> play an island. So next turn, that guy is going to be a two again. He's going to be two strength. Uh, the water worm, yeah. 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 Okay. I was just going to play. Um, I play, uh, play a pendle haven. Anti. Right. Uh, uh, these go up. Draw. Um, so he's a two, two. Uh, I'm just gonna take a damage and play a um electric heal. That sounds reasonable. And I'll pass with three. Draw. I'll play a tiger. Yep. So next turn he's going to be a one one. Correct. Man, that strip mine was so good. That was a good one. <laughs> that was so good. I was like, I think it's my only way to, to live. Come with me if you want to live, you know? Like, <laughs> um, I definitely got you to the chopper. You did. You took me around real far on that. Um, one last fucking chopper, one damage. Uh, I'm just going to pass you with seven. All right. One tap. These tick up. They no longer do anything. Um, god damn. Um, I'll swing in with these two. Okay, I'll, um, activate the factory. Yep. And I'll block the electric eel. Okay. And, block the yeah. the block. and then I'll take one from the uh, water worm, go to four. Uh, I'll play another water worm. Okay. Pass with three. All right. Untap. Draw. I'll play a taiga. Get four in hand, you say? Three in hand. You have three in hand. Okay. 
let's say you stole a creature of old man, right? Mm -hmm. And then the creature got killed. Whose graveyard does it go to? Yours. It you are. It'd be the person who stole the creature with the old man because it died under their control? No, it goes to yours because you own the card. Or so, like, okay, so if you stole a creature from me, yeah, and it died, it would go to my graveyard. What if you stole a rook egg from me and it then it died? Would it go to my graveyard and I get a token? Yes, that's what would happen. Um, yes, because you own the card. You own the card. That being said, I'll play a rook egg. Okay, the token would go to the player that owns the card not the player who's controls the the card i believe so uh are you sure about that i'm pretty sure but you can feel free to look it up because you are not playing the game and you have yeah. i will perhaps change my play if he finds out different but that's okay with me now and yeah because the it the ruck egg doesn't have memory as to who yeah controls the card when it goes to the graveyard especially because it only comes into play at the end of the turn so yeah. it would go to the owner of the card yeah which the ownership never changes just possession hmm all right but like with anything else if that if they didn't have the effect of creating a token when it dies it would, if I stole it, it would still go to your graveyard if it ever died. Mm -hmm. So, like, that part never changes. Uh, I passed you. Okay. Six cards in hand. These go away. Is, uh, yeah, you don't control an island anymore so my blue ball lightnings are all gone <laughs> they're, all... they're amazing dude that's such an amazing sideboard card i don't know why more people don't side that okay so so the, the card the card text now on the gatherer for rook egg says when rook egg dies create a 4-4 four four red bird creature token with flying at the beginning of the next end step yeah. Yes. Yep. So I guess like it depends on whether or not. Okay. Yeah. Here's the errata. So ru rulings. This is from 2005. It says, um, if the egg is destroyed while under the control of another player, the controller of the egg gets the bird. So if if you take control of the egg. Oh. And you oh. and you control the egg, and the egg is destroyed while under the control of the of another player. That that controller of the egg, when it's destroyed, gets the bird token. Okay, because I guess it's a the ability goes on the stack for me. Interesting. Hypothetically, uh, I don't play old man of the sea if that's what you're worried about. No, but you do play juxtapose. So, oh, so yes. here's the other rulings. If the rook egg is removed from the graveyard the same turn it's put there, a bird token a bird token is still put in into play. Yeah. Because it's the, the ability that goes on the stack. If the egg is if the egg, was sword, then you would never get a token. Right. right. If the egg is exiled instead of being put in the graveyard, no bird token is put into the battlefield. Text changing effects can be used to change the color of the bird that would be put on the battlefield. Yeah. I get it. It eggs Isles, you're making a ruck egg. Eggs Isles, oh my god. Um, I will pass with four in hand. Okay. On tap. I grab a wall. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'll cast the Falling Star. Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, I'll say... Oh, uh, sorry. Um, Let's see. You have... What's a... Yep. All right. Cool. Um, I'll put uh, my Rook 
jig under the star and also your water room. That's all the creatures in play, right? Uh, sure. You got him. Yeah. And so I'll go to the graveyard. And I'll pass turn to you and I'll put a token in play. That's a 4-4? Four, 4-4 four. Four, four flyer. All right. Mm. much at this point because I've been land fucking screwed. Yeah. Uh three, four, a. Yeah, I literally had the ability to strip a land of my own and I'm still one land ahead of you right now. Like fuck. Um Yeah, I don't have any like Blood Moon. Yeah. That, that seems pretty solid, to be honest. Uh, pass with three. All right. Okay. You sunk that blood moon out there just in freaking time, too. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Swing for four. No box. 13. 14. Okay. And red's, red's the color now, so pass you. Red is the color of your energy. Red is the color of the new color of the day. Sarah um, Befreet. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, pass the three. Untap. Draw. Oh man, that's also the question. Serendipity. Okay, pass to you. Uh, do I have to discard yet? Yeah, I have to discard. So I'm gonna discard a old man of the sea. Nice. Pass to you. Yeah. Untap. Go to twelve. Draw. Island. Cards? You have seven. seven, right? I have seven. I just discarded. Uh, let's be spicy. All right. Have four. Juxtapose. I don't have a creature at the casting cost. Uh, the highest... It's it says the the highest casting cost of creatures you control. So zero, I think, is the highest, right? Zero. So I'll animate my factory. It's a mountain. Oh my god! I'll animate my. <laughs> I'm not animating anything. Um, I guess I'm gonna give you this, right? Because I don't. Yeah, have I think I get it. your your token, and you get my Serend of a free. All right, you win. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't have, I, I obviously need to side in my four flash blood. Like that, uh, I didn't even think of the blood moon aspect. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Juxtapose is so crafty and sneaky. It's really, I really, really cool. You you found a way to really bad. put that card to work, Parker. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, dude. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm that is very sure. creative. That's going to go. That's going to stay. 
The creative win goes to strip mining your own island. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> really, hang that in was there. really good too. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hanging in for the hanging in. Bio break. One second. Where's all my two? They got me good at that one. I have sided out a lot of cards. Oh, yeah? I sided out eight cards now. Wow. That is a lot. It's quite the siding, yeah. Well, hopefully it will be deciding. Wait, I have to side that up too. There we go. And I feel like that game had so many like tectonic shifts in it. It was like, <laughs> and then just blood moon, bam. <laughs> like, you know, you know what that feeling when your heart sinks. You're like, oh geez, yeah, I guess that's. <laughs> it's like when you know when you like you. I don't know. You like you drive in your car and you kind of smash it. You're like, oh geez. It's like, ah oh, shit. I should have probably looked. Um, I gotta explain this to my wife now. Yeah, I should have looked before that. Oh no. so weird i can drive my truck and my trailer which together are about 50 feet but it put me with the mini my wife's minivan it's just like it's too gassy i'm just like like i backed into the what i backed into recently it's like i didn't look behind myself i'm in a hurry i backed right into the recycle bin i took out the rear light i haven't she's noticed that the light's out i haven't mentioned the cause of it yet <laughs> uh, i was hoping to replace it before we got there but she's noticed it now so just um, say there was like a solar storm and it just a solar yeah, it just like wiped out some electronics. <laughs> so solar much. storm. I think I saw a branch fall from a tree in a solar storm. Yeah. Why didn't you just say the wind, Peter? I couldn't help it. I had to. I had to go for that. Had to sell it. I know. I had to sell it. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. However, uh, you're playing first. I'll go first. Yeah, I'll take All it. right. Well, you're gonna win now. Oh, look at that. All about who goes first. Seven. Blood Moon is like three to play, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's like very quick. Things things get out of control very quick with Blood Moon. Um, that's the hope. Yeah, that's what the hope is. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh yeah, I'll. Um, oh yeah, you gotta. I'm yeah. deciding if I'm gonna keep. That's fair. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep. You're going to be able to keep it? All right. Yeah, I'll try it. All right. I'll go tropical path. Right. Tropical schmopical. Um, all right. That just pumps my uh, water worm. I know. I'm asking for trouble. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. I'm really asking for a beat down now. Uh, I'll pass with uh, six after the water worm. Yeah. There's a one, two. One, two, yeah, I gotta reset this. Okay, we'll draw. 
Mm. We'll play a city of grass. Hell yeah. Hell yes. And pass to you. Oh, you're going to take so much damage off of that guy. Which guy? The city of grass? Oh, you <laughs> like, well, not as much as damage I took off of my volcanic last turn. Or last game. That was phenomenal. The seven point swing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm gonna unstable the uh, water worm. Mana drain. I'll take one. Uh, okay. Not even. Not even messing around. Oops. Wrong card. Uh, attack for one. All right. I will take one. Go to eighteen. Uh, play a flying man and pass. That's fair. All right. Untap. Draw. Play a strip mine. Okay. Take another damage off my city. Play a rook egg. And pass to you. Hands up. Oh, shit. Um. Step two, Pumpkin City. Pumpkin, oh, Pumpkin City, nice. Sunken City. I know. <laughs> it's going to be Pumpkin City soon, though. So it's like, is that all the creatures gain one? Uh, all blue creatures get plus one, plus one. And then oh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I have to pay two blue or sacrifice it. Gotcha. Um, so these are uh, two, three, and two, two. Uh, I'll block the uh, water worm and I'll take two. Okay. Uh, pass with four. All right. Untap. Hmm. What type of beating do I want to take is my question here from you at this point. Play out the Dan Dan. I could kind of do something about it, and I'm already committed to it anyway. Okay, fear, fear no Dan Dan. It's fine. I'm gonna play out a volcanic island, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'll tap this and this guy for a Sylvan. Okay, and I'll pass to you. Right, untap, upkeep. Uh, I'll sack the uh, Pumpkin City. Okay. Pumpkin City. Um. I'll play another Sunken City. <laughs> Why did you just pay for the upkeep? Because I was trying to draw land and play other spells. Oh, okay, okay, no, that's part, none of my business. Just like... uh, attack for. Okay, I'll do the blocky thing and take two and go to thirteen. Yeah. Uh, pass with a uh, four in hand. <laughs> I like that one part. That was... I'm trying to do stuff, man. It's like, give me our time. Give me our time. Trying to progress the game state. I'm trying to do stuff. One, two, three. All right. Um. What's the story here? Double double check what I'm got going on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Take one off the top. I'll play a diamond valley. Yep, I'm boned. <laughs> the bone. Um. And that turp. And um, I, do. Yeah. okay, and that's why not. I'll just sacrifice the rook right away. Yep, and put him here, and I'll, I'm done my turn and pass back to you. I'll just I'll let the second city die, bro. Do you gain life for that, that Peter? Sorry. Oh, I forgot to do that last time, by the way. Yeah, the Diamond Valley gives you life equal to their... Uh... Yeah. I don't think it would have mattered because I was 
Tons of them. We've eaten. Is it power or toughness? It's toughness. Okay, so you gained three. Yeah, last time I did it, I didn't gain the life, but like I said, I was fundamentally beaten in that game. There was no way I was coming back from that. Um, let's see. I'll play a water worm, take a damage. Yeah. Or sorry, electric eel. I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't know. It's a, it's a snaky thing in the water. Yeah. Um, and... Let's see. Uh, I'll pass turn with four. Okay. I'll untap uh, before my draw. I'll draw with Sinbad. It's a Taiga. Yep. I'll put it in my hand. I'll look at three. Three. I'll get that one. Um. Get to play the taiga. Swing for four. Um, no box. I will go to fifteen. Okay, and I'll play another rook egg. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just going to force spike it and make it take another damage. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. I'm just gonna let go to the graveyard. Uh, Alright. you. The fuck is in your hand? Uh, I guess you have a force spike. Uh, draw. Island. Uh, declare attack. Yep. Uh, no blocks. So you take uh, three, go to ten. I have myself at sixteen because I've been gaining life from this. Oh game. right, you you're at thirteen then. Yeah, sorry, you gained three off the wreck egg. No problem. Yeah, my bad. Um, three. Uh, Serend of a free. You go to Serend of sure. Uh, pass with two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Three, three, um, hmm. take that one. I'll play another rookie. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, I'm going to attack with my uh, rook. Um, no box. I go to 11. Okay, cool. And at the end of my, t well, not the end of my turn, but during my turn, I'm going to sacrifice the rook. Yep. Tap the Sally. One, two, three. And create another rook token. And pass to you. And two cards in hand. Up, keep. Go to 10, draw. Uh, I'll swing with these. 
the Afrit and the two little guys there? Yep. I'll block the Afrit. Okay. I'll take the two damage. Second main, uh, we'll play an island and play an Afrit. All right. And pass. Okay. On top. Three. I'll take that one. Uh, I'll, um, I'll play another rookie. Jesus Christ. I'll take the other one. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, I'll play swing for eight. Uh, I'll double block one of the eggs. Yeah, that's a sensible thing to do. Um, yeah, okay, sounds good, I'll, mm, I'll distribute my damage to the Afrit. Okay. Oh, if it goes away. So I got a six. You got a six. And I will sacrifice this rook. Uh, of course you will. I know, I know. And pass you. I feel like that guy I played tonight in the Tuesday Gauntlet who just kept playing out Ices and fucking Relic Barriers and Howling Mines. I was like, of course you have another Icy to play. Too little, too late. Uh, an Afrit. A no, a hmm? a no Another Afrit. Yeah. I, I had three in my hand since the beginning of the game <laughs> to me. and i only had two land oh jesus christ um let's see i'll uh i'll send these guys in send those fellas okay hold on you had you can always attack with sinbad i can um, also block with sinbad yeah i know but i'm not afraid of blocking with sinbad should be. He's, uh, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just leave him untapped. All right, okay. I'll I'll pass. Sinbad's blocking ability has been underestimated all these all these times, but he's ready now. Yeah, because you're. I haven't drawn. A, there's no fucking land on top of my deck to draw with him. You're on. You're on top of card advantage. I'm also on top of card advantage. There's not this, but anyway, I will take that card and. No, there's no need for more cards. Okay. Sinbad uh, will also draw through your dead shit. You know what? I could just filter the dead shit. They're right. I could filter the detritus. But I just felt like I would get to a land sooner than later. Yeah. He's good for that. Um, How about one, two, and three, and a falling star? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it resolves. Okay. Um... I'll use, how about uh, we go with like the Afrit is here. The, um, what's the other guy next to the Afrit? Flying Man. Oh, you have a Flying So the two flyers at the top, so Afrit and the Flying Man will be Sinbad. So even if Falling Star doesn't kill it, it still taps it, right? It does still tap it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm dead. Well, I'll probably hit it. You're right. Yeah, and yeah. Then, so, so you'll it. come through with eight damage. I will. I finally die. drew my Blood Moon like way too late. Okay, so yeah, you drew that, and that's why I left that mana untapped. I've been holding the Splash Flood. Oh, nice. And the Seren I've had a Seren a Div in the hand, so it was like... Yeah. All right, just for fun, see if I can get them all. Nice. That's a fucking thumbnail if I've ever seen one. I can do six. Mm. So you should uh, let it land face up for Chad to take a screenshot. I can't do that because I always, when I start my flip, I always start upside down and it lands upside down. That was a, um, a study just came out about flipping coins that uh, an overwhelming majority of times that it lands the side that it was facing up when you go to flip it. And I find that's better because it hugs better when it lands upside down. Yeah, I can see that. This side, kind of, because it has a bit of a conflict. It can slide. It slides. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. So, if I did three, if I did six cards, I think that's the way to get six, right? You could do them like this. 
Yeah. I went for six. That's actually an award that they do. Six. Yeah. That's six. So they could. I could. I think I could get six in a row six times. You just hit the six right there. Yeah. I got it again. Oh wow. Yeah. Was that touching all six? I got yeah. them again. Just barely yeah. though in the city. These are all working. Whoa. Got them again. Yeah. This is what you were practicing, right, uh, Peter? Uh, I think no. that's barely, I, just barely. I skipped yeah, it. but you saw it slide when it just landed. Just a bit, yeah. I didn't, it's like he's on these skippy surfaces, so four, four or something in a row. Five. I'm going pretty high. I think I'm going above one foot, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Bumped it out. It killed my luck talking about it, but yeah. Wow. I, um, I do like flipping on things. Look at, my grave, look at my graveyard. It just tells a story. Mana drain, rook egg, rook egg, rook egg, rook egg. <laughs> <laughs> must have been a great game, guys. Must yeah. A blast to play that one out. Mana drain, rook egg, rook egg, rook egg, rook egg. Rook egg, rook egg, rook egg, rook egg. Rook egg, rook egg, rook egg, Well, I was really rooting for, for Parker. I really like his I'll deck. never get who. No, no, don't tell me. I don't want to know who you were rooting for. <laughs> well, I just oh, like yeah. how. I like how different and cool and. Like off the he beaten did. path, like I mean, You're... sunken cities and electric oh, that eels. Is, that sideboard is freaking righteous, man. Like that—that's what people who play islands deserve. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, you're gonna play islands, then you just uh, you sealed your fate with Dan Dan. I I will go to the grave saying that island is the most broken card ever printed. Yeah, everything. <laughs> all the other cards are fine. It's the island that makes it. It's just the best. Richard Garfield should have like taken a coffee break before inventing Ireland. <laughs> Did you, um, I, there's this, uh, I don't know if it's on the oddities or the misprint groups, but they they have some uh, like gamma playtest cards, and um, one of the cards there is Starburst. You guys ever heard of that one? I've seen it, but I don't remember what it is. It's uh, it says two R, which actually doesn't mean two colorless in the red. It means uh, two mana, one of them has to be red. That's how the old notation was. And it's basically the opposite of time walk. Target player loses a turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it didn't make it in as that. But what I love is that in the playtest card, they also had a, like, a, I think it was Mountain Yeti, and it was costed even, I think it's like four. Yeah, it's four, and one of them has to be red for a 3-3 three, three with Mountain Walk. Like, how do you how do you feel like that's the same? For, for two mana, I can make you skip your turn. Or for, you know, or for or for four mana, I could have a four a three three mountain walker like like were there just different people in the room at the time like you know I, I don't know how they like just some of the cards are so clearly broken right by comparison to each other I played back in the day and those cards were always broken. Well, it's like how can you put as far as the boon cycle healing salve up against oh. ancestral recall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got Even, the dark ritual, the ancestral. Yeah, ritual. I was gonna say like all four other boons are amazing, I, and I healing think. salve has never seen any play, except in revised forty. <laughs> I who played like an insane amount of those. <laughs> yeah, he ran like twenty. He ran like twenty healing cells. <laughs> and just tried to deck people. Like tried to win it by just staying alive. <laughs> yeah, I think he oh, might have had millstone. I think you have to do something. All right, but guys. It's still well, worse those are than, like the other oh. deck of like. Oh yeah. You know, was it uh, um, oh, wait, uh, was... psychic venom and uh. Oh yeah. Mana short and power sinks. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's actually what my that's my I have a deck like that. The psychic I venom like power sink deck. I, mm-hmm. I collect beta psychic venoms in case I ever decide to play beta forty. Oh my god, I collect Alpha Psychic Venoms. <laughs> I, have, I have about 20 Alpha Psychic Venoms, or 24, so something like that. I think I have 14 Beta ones. Yeah, I'm up to a...